Off, uh, live right now on the internet, dmlive.tv. <coughs> I do a show uh, every Friday called Dream Social Station, and uh, Clark's broadcasting it right now. So we're on the internet. Everybody that's going to get up here and speak, you know, if anybody got a, a phone or whatever wants to call somebody, be like, hey man, go to uh, dmlive.tv and you can check us out here at the rally. Uh, people in Iowa represent, and I really appreciate them coming out. Uh, I really apologize also, uh, a little uh, slow on the promotions or I guess a lack of promotion, so to say, but thanks for everybody coming out. I see a lot of familiar faces. Uh, there's still a few that I'm expecting to show up that aren't here, so uh, they'll be showing up. Uh, we've got a number of people that want to get up and speak, uh, so I'll, I'll let everybody you know, get up and grab the mic when they want. Uh, I want to first uh, welcome uh, Reverend Reaper Terry Mitchell. Where's he at? Excuse me. He was here. He was here when I got there. When I got here, he went to the facilities. He had, a, he had a, an emergency, I guess. So, uh, Major <laughs> called, and uh, Reverend Reaper had to go. So, so uh, uh, I guess I wasn't really uh, prepared to kick off my part of the, uh, the talking, so... Uh, if there's somebody else that's uh, that's ready to get up here and grab the mic and, and bring it, I'll, I'll welcome them here to the Iowa Freedom Rally 2012 to where uh, the law is wrong, not the bomb. So here's St. Michael, and he's going to have a few words for you. Kick it off. Woo! 2012 Worldwide Marijuana March. And there's not a lot of people here, but you got to understand, we're, we're together with people all over the world. There's a million people right now, everywhere around the world, together with us, in one voice saying, we think the laws need to change. And that's why we're here. It's, it's really symbolic now that we actually march here in Des Moines. We go from City Hall, we go to the Capitol, and, and what, what we're trying to say is the laws need to be changed on a local level, on a state level, and on a federal level. So you can do things in a lot of different ways, even if you don't live in Des Moines. Maybe you can't get to the state capitol and lobby. Maybe you can't talk to those people. You can go to your county government. You can go to your city government and say, listen, make it a low priority. Don't Stop arresting people for marijuana. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Yeah. On a local level. There's a lot of things that can be done by, by all of us. The most important thing is keep on talking about the marijuana issue. It's a huge issue. There's so many different subjects you can talk about. But the fundamental part of it is about individual liberties and freedom. We should have the same freedoms and rights that other people enjoy. I, you know, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't think anybody should go to prison for cigarettes, though. And I, I hope the cigarette smokers wouldn't think anybody should go to prison for marijuana, which is oh, 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 oh. So that, that's the agenda we're pushing. Just equal rights and liberties for, for our people, for us, that everybody else enjoys as well. So uh, we're going to get Johnny Reaper to come up here if he's ready. Maybe he's not ready yet. You know, we have a, one of the things I like to mention, and I, a lot of people know this, maybe some people don't know this, but we, we want to push for legal med medical marijuana here in the state of Iowa. It's a good, it's a good first step. But there's already people here in the DM state that enjoy legal medical marijuana. That's right. Right now in the state of Iowa, the state allows people to smoke medical marijuana legally. Hopefully it's live, man. Winter, I've never double-checked her phone to make sure it goes hey, live. Since 1970, yeah. she legally smokes medical marijuana. Well, why can't the rest of us? Yeah! You know, laws are for everyone or for no one. So, and we have federal patients right here in the state of Iowa that federally get medical marijuana from the federal government. This is the same federal government that goes and raids dispensaries for selling medical marijuana. It doesn't make any sense. It needs to start making sense. We need to start uh, pressuring everybody. And, and with an election coming up, you know, hopefully we'll see, well, we will. Definitely we'll see more states come on board with the 17 that already have one form of medical marijuana or some kind of recreational, you know, maybe... Uh, they have a lot of, uh, it's just a civil fine. I mean, whatever, whatever kind of progress we make, it, it's a step in the right direction. And we're making progress. We are winning this war. It's taking longer than it should take. But every election, more and more states come on board. And, and this fall, there'll be more states. You know, there's 17, there'll probably be 21. If there's 26, if there's over half, we might have what we had in the Great Depression, or, or in, in uh, Prohibition, where once more than half the country came on board, the federal government says, well, we have to react. And that's how, you know, when you look back at prohibition, alcohol became legal like that. It also became legal like that again. Because more than half the state 
we're on board, the federal government was pressuring that, all right, we got to follow the country, we got to follow the people we represent. So this will be good election for us. And there's a lot of states that have ballots and initiatives, and at least 21 states, four more at the very least, if not, maybe we'll get more than a halfway point. So we'll, we'll have to see what happens. I'm going to get ready to introduce our good friend, Johnny Reed He's been, he's been doing this for a long time. <laughs> Thank you. A little song about being out of your medicine. I'm all alone Saturday night watching the late late show. A bottle of wine, corn cigarette. Got no place to go. Well, I saw your other man today. You swear my brand new shoes. And I'm down to sleeping. Stem to dance. I saw my friend Bob today. Whatever guy starts talking to you about 
Well, the gas, price of gas is so goddamn high. Do you realize that they can do anything? Anything they do with petroleum, they can do with hemp seed oil. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It's non toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Grow as much or as little as you need from year to year. No storage costs, no transportation costs. Yeah, that, there's so many different, so many different uses. That's what I'm saying. You've all got to get together and study up on the cannabis plant, not just marijuana. You got to study on the whole shoot match. So if a person brings up this subject, you can say, yeah, as a matter of fact, cannabis would make that a whole lot better deal too, because of this, this, this. Yeah. Woo! Woo! You've got to be able to talk to the people intelligently about what the hell you want them to know. Educate yourself and then run them up their ass, okay? Yeah! Woo! Please, people. I'm getting too damned old for this shit. <laughs> Please, people. I want y'all to fill in for me because I'm, I'm about to. Uh, I'm supposed to be on oxygen right now. Uh, can't hardly breathe out here in this few points of But, uh,. Y'all need to educate yourselves so that you can educate the public. And don't don't limit yourself to the public. Walk right up to the cop and tell him, hey, you know what? Your job would be a whole lot better if if you'd leave marijuana smokers alone. Yeah. Woo! It would be a hell of a lot smaller. Yep. Wouldn't be near as much corruption otherwise. Because the cops would be in on, on trying to bust that shit rather than mess with us. Educate yourselves and then educate the public. Then we'll get some crowds down here. I've seen three or four hundred people down here. What happened to you, Ray? <laughs> but first date I started this 16 years, 15 years ago, there was 12 people showed up. So this is quite an accomplishment, but I have had as many as 400 out here. And that, that crowd's not here today. I want y'all to do what's right. God put it here to be used. Yeah. Break it. Yeah. 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 Enjoy yourself. And any questions you got for me about him, if I can't answer them, I know somebody can. Yeah. Woo! Terry Mitchell, who represents, and, and he's right, you know, he said 12 years he's been coming, how many years now? 15 years? And it's like I came down back in 2005 one day with St. Michael. Uh, we came down, I said, I, because, you know, of course, you know, when you're involved with marijuana and you're involved with, you know, things, and you're kind of like, well, there's a marijuana rally, let's go down and check it out. And uh, we came down, and it was just like an open day to where they had a mic, and uh, met Jim and he had a lot of uh, information on the tables. There was stuff he could get, but it was just an afternoon of an open mic. And if you wanted to come up and say a few words uh, against this uh, idiot lawman, because we got up there, uh, you know, this is your chance. So uh, it just so happened uh, I got more involved in, by the next year. So uh, Terry kind of uh, threw it out there for me. And uh, right now uh, we're dealing with uh, the, the exodus going on. And uh, that'll be part of uh, what I want to talk about when I talk, uh, how uh, the uh, Colorado Department of Tourism, they should just pay me because I think I'm responsible for like eight people moving there in the last year. Because So all I've been doing for the last five or six years is educating people about the laws in other states and the freedoms that they can enjoy in another state. But you know what? They move. So here I am. I per persevere. So, uh, if, if uh, the next person uh, wants to get up and uh, say a few words, uh, come on up. Uh, the mic is open. The mic is hot. Come on up and bring it. I want to see somebody moving towards this microphone. I know uh, Jim wants to talk. I know uh, Carl probably wants to say a few words. I know Bob wants to talk. Uh, I know anybody. I, I see somebody moving towards the mic. Somebody in a tie-dye dress. Woo! Get on the mic! Get on the mic, my friend! Come on to Iowa Hemp Freedom Rally. What's your name? Tanya, welcome. Thank you.